Great. We're going to be working with a Starburst grape winery today. I thought we'd do something different because I have orders for fall wreaths and I got to get busy. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. They are very feisty. Thank you, Leslie. I appreciate it. I won't be using any mesh today. I'll actually just be using this. Okay? It is available in kit form, but you'd have to purchase your own um, sunburst wreath because I don't trust shipping them because they are so fragile and they do break. So... Um, all the picks and the ribbon and the flowers will be available in a kit. Um, probably about 22 with, uh, with um, the ribbon. And then all you have to do is get the, the wreath and then there'll be shipping. Okay. So these are picks that I have that have acorns and tiny little pumpkins and little balls and little pit berries on them. Yep. And if we get done this one, I have a broom to do also. So I put my phone over here and so I can see the comments so I don't have to like lunge at the computer all the time to read them. So I'm actually going to place these around. Now let's see. Um, maybe if I lower the camera a little bit, it may help you uh, see the wreath better. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. I don't know if anybody gets dizzy like I do when things move too quickly. Did that help any? Really didn't, did it? Or did it? Let's see if we just zoom in on the wreath. Give my computer a minute to catch up. How's that? Is that good? There we go. Now you'll be able to see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to cut these a little bit and spot them with some glue and stick them in. We're going to go around in a circular motion. I can fan these out, I can bring them down, I can do whatever works. There's one. I think it's going to take about six or seven to go around this. And then we're going to make a bow. fan these out. If I need to fill in, I have some leaves I can fill in with. That's kind of the way I want it to go. See, I just want everything to kind of go around in a swirl. These are really thick. If any of you saw my um, live the other night on Sunday night where I made that numbers wreath, my son and daughter-in-law loved it. And since we're so close, 200 away from 1,000 on my Facebook page, I'm going to be doing a contest soon. And when I get to 1,000... 
we're going to be giving away one of those number wreaths. How about that? Still waiting for the second person to get back to me that won the, the ribbon. She's actually taking one of my in-home classes this week, so I'm hoping that she comes and I can surprise her and make her bow because she's actually local. And she did sign up for one of the... We're actually going to be doing um, a custom sign. Anybody wants to learn how to use the, um, the Cricut. So... see this leaf will cover up the bottom of that one if I miss your questions keep asking there sometimes it just doesn't want to go where you want it to go Okay, just just private message it to me, Levon. <laughs> I had one of my girlfriends who was my maid of honor. Um, she sent me a text. I love it, and those are my numbers, which I should have remembered they were. So she would really love one. So I hope she enters. I got the numbers on, you know, saved. So, just trying to add a little color here and do some cover up. Add it to my tab. <laughs> These picks are nice because they have everything totally attached to them. And these leaves are nice because see they're different shaped, different tone, different colors too, and different sizes. Like I said, this will be available as a wreath kit, but you'll have to get your own wreath. One more. Now, I think we'll even have some room for these, Levon. Hi, Lillian. Welcome. Hi, Leslie. Or Leslie. Hi, Jamie. I don't know if you knew that, Leslie. These are Yvonne's favorite flower. So we're going to put a couple of those in there. They're nice and bright. We have a nice solid stem, so we can push that down in there. These wreaths are easy to work with little tight but 
easy for placement because you just follow the circle. <laughs> well, we aim to make you feel good today, Vaughn. And these colors of these sunflower, they had that orange in there. And boy, that just works with the wreath, doesn't it? Now what I may do, well, I think I'll put the next one like in here. And then I'll have the bow going down there. Can everybody see okay? Aw. I haven't seen Leslie's work can't see what Leslie said. <laughs> All my comments disappeared. Okay. I got to get my inventory built up for fall because I don't know if any of you have been on my previous lives, but my my aunt lives in an assisted living home and a retirement community and uh, she wants everybody wants a fall wreath made so I gotta start getting busy okay that's it so far and now we'll make a bow We'll have that right here. Now, I have this. I have this. I have that. I have this that has pumpkins and gourds on it. And I have that. So, I'm, I like this, but I'm just not sure if that's too much yellow. But I thought this and this, that definitely, this, I don't know. Um, could even do this one. What do you think of those four? Any suggestions, comments? Or I have this one, but that looks too much like that. Maybe if I put that as the second one in and this on the outside. Because we've got little pumpkins on here. Okay, yes. And put the other one back in. You mean this one? those four. I mean this one.
One, two, three, four, five. I want four, so The orange and brown one. Okay. What about the um, sunflower one? Leave that in or take that out? I'll start and then as we go until my computer catches up with your comments and I have a pipe cleaner no I want a zip tie and then some wire It's about a six inch loop. A handy dandy Bodabra. We'll just hold everything in place. Do we like the sunflower one? I guess it would pull some of this yellow out of here. And there's some yellow in the leaves. We can try it. And then the pumpkin and gourd one. Just trying to decide whether I want this one on the inside or the outside. Maybe we'll just do a little loop of it. Just one little loop. Just give it a little punch. All right.
Hey, Sherry. Yes, better late than never. If you're listening, hi, Amori. How's that pirate ship? Just making the bow, and I think we have enough time to do a broom too. We can get two for the price of one today, two for free. looks. learned that if I hang it off the table it doesn't smash the bow as bad if I have the bow hanging off the table. Twist this in and tuck it under so it does not scratch the door. There. Then we'll just fluff. And that little loop will hide the zip tie. Dovetail the ends.
your bell more dimension, more interest when it's fluffed up like that. Let's get these over here. This one over here. This one over there. Now if I'm feeling this sunflower one though. All right. Hello Gary, how are you? Well, let me spread this out. See how simple that was? Oh, thank you. Do you think it looks good with this in there too? I guess it it does pull out some of the yellow that's in here. It could even put a little more yellow in there. That's a sunburst wreath. And like I said, all the picks and the ribbon and everything's available. For a kit, I just can't ship these. Um, let me just look. I don't know if I want to add a little yellow or not. I put most of my flowers away, except these. No, wait a minute. I have one that Let's see I have these. Maybe just a few of those. I don't know. What do you think? I add a few of those in. Thank you, Maggie. Or do you think that's too much? Solid orange. Let's see what I got. I got some big acorns that are, I know. I don't know. Maybe just a little bit of that green in there. Because this doesn't look right. And solid orange. There's a lot of orange going on in there. Oh, wait a minute. got these. Now, I think just a few of these greens in there will look good just to pull it out a little more. Because I don't have anything else. Just looking in all my stuff. That's white and yellow. I like that green in there. Hello, Celia. 
What do you think of these? A different, a different leaf. It has some yellow tint to it and a little bit of the orange. I'm trying to keep it fall like. That's what they want. See what I'm saying? That big leaf. So. So you don't think it needs this then? You think it's fine just the way it is. So I just feel like just a little, maybe just three. Just a little pop of a different. I know, right? And outside their door they have like a shelf that they can put little figurines on. Um, and it's indoors. See, and this is this is those little pit berries that have that styrofoam in there and they won't hold up good in the weather. So this is nice because it's just gonna be right inside, down the hall, you know, There, just a little pop of some yellow in there, just to break up all that orange, because we got orange here, orange here. What do you think? Yeah, it's just the right size. Sometimes you have to trim some of these. That looks fall-like, don't you think? Because they, they like things that are um, go with the seasons. That way they only have to worry about like storing four, three at a time, you know what I mean? That way they're not putting one up for every holiday. Thank you. All right, we're going to put that one aside. And I think we have enough time to do a broom. I thought that would be a different um, one to work on. Thank you. So we got this bed down here. Um, there's a couple things I have for this. And I have one of these. It's a blue, because I thought, I just got this ribbon in, and it's blue with scarecrows on it. And I thought, well, that would be different and this has the wheelbarrow. So I thought, okay, we'll pull this blue out of the ribbon, this scarecrow out of the ribbon also, and then I have these picks that are different. I have a couple of those. I have some of this little 
looking to see if they named it. Queen Anne's Lace. And then I have some of these left over from a project. So I think we got enough there to do something. I even have some little pumpkins or these um, orange acorns. So let's go ahead and work on that one. We can add some of this if we want. Um, I don't think I want to add any fern today. I have some pipperies if we want those. But let's go for it. All right, so basically I'm gonna start with my greens and work my way up. So let's, let's go down. I'm gonna go down here. There. All right, so I have some of these in orange and green. Trying to get a feel for where I want to place these. And then we have these. Again, there's some little berries on here and then some pod like. Um, and then we've got the green and the orange and the leaves. That we can tie in with some of that. Not sure what this is going to look like on here, so I don't know. Eh. A little different. these little blue flowers. Or this Queen Anne's Lace. Whoops! There. Pull this down a little further. Not that far.
don't know about that sunflower. Yeah, I'll just leave the blue in there. Not feeling that one right now. Let me see what we got. Hi, Monica. I know. Let's see what these look like in there. These are velvet like. one in, push one out. What's your thoughts? She needs to go right about there. this right about there. And then I think a little bow up here. Because I don't know that the bow would look right down here. I'm not sure. Would look right there. I know. What do you think of that there? Or does that take away from the acorn? I don't know. See if I like that. Maybe smaller. And then a little one up here on that side. These are too big.
What are your thoughts? We got my triangle going here, which is what I wanted. And then just put a simple little bow up here. Now, simple, we can go definitely the sunflower. Um, I don't think I want to go wider than this. Thank you, Lillian. Okay. Let's see what I got. Um, let me check. One more spot for narrow ribbon. I think we'll just go with something that'll go with that. This one. This one and this one. Because there we've got the green, we've got the orange, we've got the taupe. And we could just add just plain burlap in there also. Nope, not feeling that one. All right, let me see. Just want to go plain. Have that. Or. about that one. I really wanted to use that, but nope, that's not right. And let me see. We could just go with those two. No. Or, if that's too, too much. Or, this and this. This has all these colors in it. What do you think of those three? What's your opinion? Or those three? Yes. Guess what? <laughs> this one, this one. Okay, this is the first batch. So I like this batch because this is a little different from that. But now when I add these three, or 
Okay, this was number, this is one. Or this is number two. Or this is number three. You want, you're saying checks instead of this. So you're saying these three. These three, okay? Okie dokie. Or, <laughs> or when you said three, you meant I'm confused. Or we could add this in here. <laughs> Is this in or out? <laughs> I think I got gotcha. you. I think you're saying these three. So let's do it. Let's make this as our back. I'm not going to go as big. I'm going to still have like a 10 inch tail. But I'm only going to do about a four inch loop. I think I'm only going to do about two loops. So we don't want it very big. Why did he just do this? There we go. Put our Sunflowers next.
I'm thinking I'm going to take those blue things out of there and just stick the Queen Anne's lace in there. Now that I'm not using that ribbon, I don't want them in there. So these are coming out. Just gone with one color scheme. Looks better already. What I didn't like. Oops. There. That's better. There. Much better. These things are not cooperating today. There we go. There. I like it better. Okay. Okay, what are your thoughts? I have to glue everything and move everything. Do you like that scarecrow or do you think we need the green one? Yeah, it it uh it gives you an area really to decorate it. I mean, they're not that bad. And this was one that I picked up at a recycle place. Um, they recycle a lot of things, and it had the worst looking bow and the littlest arrangement on here. And it's like, oh my gosh, that poor thing needs to go home. But what do you think? The green or the yellow? Or 
maybe because it's got this ribbon on there, it works better. I don't know. Not bad, huh? I think it looks good. I know I need to go buy some more ribbon. And I don't know, I think I want to add a piece of this here, too. Because I think that kind of gives the bow a little bit more dimension. Just a little bit. I kind of like that. I have it in green, but I think the green would be too much. I think this is just the right size. I mean, just the right color. I'm just going to tie it like this. Because it has wire in it. So I can move it around. But I think that right there just gives it another little bit that it needed. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Good idea. End to end. I like that idea. Now you're thinking like I would think. <laughs> I just didn't get that far. They seem to be on the same page a lot at a time. I have this scarecrow. He's made out of a block of wood. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him yet, but I really like him. So, all right, so we did two today. That's awesome. Thank you, Levon. It's appreciated. And I love it when you're here, when you're all here. You have such great ideas and they're appreciated. All right. Until next Monday, unless I come up with something else and jump on ahead of time. Okay, thank you very much. Kisses to Harlow. All right, you all have a good night, and thanks.